Hey, what is up everybody? This is me, the ITKHQ, and today we're going to be taking a look at OS X El Capitan's hidden features and tips and tricks. Now I'm actually running currently the GM or the Golden Mass release, so if you guys want to go ahead and download the GM, you first of all need to make sure that devices, uh, your device is basically enrolled into Apple's probably beta program. Now if you guys don't want to do that, if you guys want to wait uh, for the public release, then basically OS X El Capitan is going to be available on the 30th of September, so that's two weeks from now. So you can wait for the public launch or simply go ahead and download the GM, which is exact same thing as the public versions anyway. All right, now let's take a look at the very first hidden feature, and that's the ability to automatically hide the top menu bar. So all you have to do is go to System Preferences, then go to General, and you have the option of automatically hide and show the menu bar. So when you take your cursor to the top, it's going to go and show you the menu bar and then so just get a little bit of a you know, space on the top as well next we have the ability to delete an email just by swiping on it and then we have the trash button right here also you can say mark as unread or you can just simply say mark as read so you just have to swipe on the top on the on the mail itself also if you're basically using uh, I, i'm not sure if it's a hidden feature or whatnot but it's actually a very cool feature in the mail app so basically if you're using the mail app um, in full screen and you basically are composing an email but you then decide that you know you should you know you want to compose another email with different subject with different topic altogether then all you have to do is that you just come over here and open it open a new compose tab so as you guys can see we have new multiple compose tabs right here so you can simply compose one and then switch to the other as well so that's pretty neat Next we have the Spotlight. Now Spotlight is actually pretty improved. We have gotten the natural search so you can simply say you know tell me show me emails from June 2014 or show me emails from June 2015. It's going to show you all the emails uh, but now you can actually uh, move the Spotlight bar as well so you can take it to the bottom you can have it on the top and also you can resize it. So if I say Apple I can also resize the search so let's just search and resize the whole search thingy right here all right next we have the some we have very cool features in the notes app as well i just want to talk about this for a moment right here so um basically for example you can open up or you can make bulleted list or checklist so i can just say eggs um bread and whatnot and you can and simply check mark these as well uh, but then you can also create bulleted list, dash list, number lists as well. As you guys can see, we have this attachment browser over here as well. So you can basically uh, browse through all the photos and videos, sketches, maps, and all that uh, you know you have got in your mail. So basically, you can actually add a photo as well in your note, as you guys can see, and you will find this under the photos and video section as well. Also, if you go over to Safari and if you want to go ahead and you know you are just going through this website you like this website and you want to save it for later or you just want to add this to a note you can simply do that by saying this directly from here so there's a new sh option in the share sheet and you can also select um, you know a particular note so I'm just going to say a new note and I will just go ahead and save it and now I will have it right here so let's go over here I've got a new note over here and it's for the itkitchu.com and you can also go through all of these websites under this section here as well so uh, it's actually pretty neat I really like the new notes app altogether uh, next we're going to talk about a uh, San Francisco font type so the font is a little different it's San Francisco it's the same font that Apple used uh, in you know on OS uh, sorry on Apple watch as well as on in iOS 9 now let's talk about the new disk utility so the new disk utility app is also changed so it's different now as you guys can see, we have a diagram right here showing you, um, you know, the free space and all the space that has been occupied. And then you can also select your hard drive from here. You can and do partition and you can erase and you can unmount and all that stuff. So that's disk utility right there. Also, we have a new look for spinning beach ball that usually appear when an application is not responding. So that's also changed. Also, we have flight tracking option as well. So you can actually check out where the flight is currently so if I go over here to this node right here so I've got this flight number right here and I can simply uh, you get the option as well and you can simply just go and check out the flight status so 
you can check out where it is currently still hasn't taken off from Abu Dhabi but so yeah that's that and also it works throughout the systems it's not only for notes app but you can use it you have this option in mail app as well and also you have the same option in iOS 9 as well so I really like this new feature of flight tracking now this is something that I've just noticed but the quick look option the quick look animation just looks a little bit more smoother and a little bit better that's just me it looks a little bit different uh, if I double tap this it's going to go and maximize it and if I go ahead and do this it's going to make it smaller so you can do that by going over to the dock preferences and over here we have the option that when you double click at a windows title bar you can either minimize it or you can zoom it so I can if I do this to minimize it's going to go and minimize it and if I do the other way, it's going to zoom it as well. So that's that. Uh, also, we have a very subtle change over here as well. I'm just going to go ahead and show you right now. That is when I upload a picture to iCloud Drive, I get this very neat little progress bar or icon right here next to iCloud Drive. All right, guys, so another hidden feature I'm going to be talking about is the ability to uh, rename. So essentially, now you can rename or get the option of renaming it. Uh, file uh, over here in the menu bar right here so when you right click or double tap on any file you have the option of renaming as well uh, so that's actually pretty sweet and also in the notification center we have the new find my friends widget as well all right guys that's pretty much it so that's all there is to it these are all the new major you know hidden features and some tips and tricks of os 10 el capitan hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did then definitely make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys all in the next video. Peace out.